So around the time that I was finishing up work on Bloodborne's DLC, the prototyping for Sekiro was beginning to take place. We weren't even sure of the gameplay or what shape it was going to take at that point. But everyone was asked to provide their ideas for a game world and just provide these images to serve as a base. And I drew this image, and looking back at it now, it was just one image, but I feel that it encapsulated that world. That speaks a lot to my memories of what Sekiro is. Previously, I worked on Bloodborne and the Bloodborne DLC. When designing those worlds, it was very much a case of digging deeper and deeper and going darker and darker. But with this game, something that I wanted to achieve was using both light and dark, kind of simultaneously. The emotions that come with light and dark. This time, you know, we're using a lot of elements of Japanese taste. The action kind of variety, the, the pace of the action is a lot higher than our previous titles. And also there's a, a very wide variety of locations, each with their own kind of vibrant color palette, um, such as the, uh, you know, beautiful Japanese mountains and such. So we have to take care and pay attention to a lot of different areas. I've been involved with a lot of fantasy titles, obviously what our studio is known for. So to create something that's set in an authentic Japanese setting was really exciting and really refreshing. Of course it means I get to think of a lot of new ideas and make new creations myself, but also being part of this collaborative process and this team structure, I get these ideas and inspirations from the team as well. It's just a whole brand new experience. So one of the things that was um, difficult or surprising about working on the project was that through working with Activision we got a lot of support about how he fleshed out this new world and so we were kind of surprised by the things that we were capable of from, you know, with their help and advice. Uh, so, you know, the player has to grab ledges or kind of interact with the map in ways that they haven't done in previous games. So making that look good and making it look tangible and, and, uh, and feel realistic uh, was definitely something that we, it was a new challenge that we haven't had to uh, think about before. So um, yeah, I learned a lot from that experience. One thing that I was particularly impressed by in making the world of Sekiro, we had to research a lot of Japanese architecture from the time. I was blown away by how amazing this architecture was and the integrity of these structures. We actually had these real blueprints that were used at the time. We researched these and when you look at them, I was just staggered and moved by just how intricate they were and how brilliant they were. Even as a Japanese native who was born and bred here, I saw again something that I'd never even considered as part of the design process. So of course, as with previous titles, we have design orders or concepts and themes from Miyazaki that we use to develop our ideas. It was the same with this game, but we had to fit those ideas within the existing framework in some way. So how they might fit into that medieval blueprint of Japan, that was at the same time extremely challenging, but a lot of fun. So yeah, actually, along with the artists, we feel like this approach in this world is, is definitely fresh. Uh, it's a new color palette, there's a new kind of visual range. Um, you know, we have to think about how we best technically incorporate their vision. Um, so for us, it gives us a fresh feel as well. And also this time with Sekido, we're using uh, HDR display um, configuration. So that allows us uh, an even higher level of detail. So a few things we've been paying attention to with this uh, project with Sekido. Um, obviously we've used fog in our games before, but this time we, you know, we want to give this presentation of the light coming through the fog and, and how that affects the, again, the color palette and the, uh, the game environment. Um, the player can interact with the, the water surface, they're able to swim. Um, so we need to make sure the, the water reflections and you know, ripples and waves are looking good. And also the kind of a more realistic sense of vegetation and representing Japanese vegetation and again player and enemy interaction with it. Particularly, you know, speaking of Japan, we have uh, bamboo trees, a lot of which you can bump into and knock down, cut down with your sword. So yeah, we're trying to add a, a higher sense of realism when we're approaching these aspects of the environment. Yeah, actually in making these maps, uh, even from an engineer standpoint, um, there's a lot more vibrancy, there's a lot more color that we're used to in creating these titles, and there's obviously these elements of beauty that we haven't really rendered in this way before, so when I see that and experience that in the game, it kind of it feels not only refreshing, but it's, it's kind of soothing as well. <laughs> as a map designer, one thing that I hope that the player does is just, while they're progressing through this world, they just occasionally stop and look at the world around them. And hopefully they'll find there's a lot of detail in places they didn't expect, a lot of richness to these environments. I've been really particular about how we built these worlds. And we hope that while there is the fun of playing through the game, we hope that there's this other element of enjoyment as well. 
So Sekiro represents a new undertaking, not only for the technical department, but for From as well. You know, it's a brand new game, a, a brand new IP and a brand new genre for us. Um, so this has come with its own unique uh, challenges and interesting points. So I hope that once the user gets it in their hands, they can kind of appreciate uh, the work that we've done. While making Sekiro, I was really impressed by the number of elements that were really brand new. There was a lot of novelty to this project that I haven't really experienced in working with artwork or in, from software before. It just introduced a lot of new elements I was able to incorporate into my artwork and design. It's been very refreshing.